Welcome to Social Work Updates. In this video, we are going to talk about Introduction of Generalist Practice in Social Work. A social work generalist practitioner assists clients in attaining a higher level of social functioning. Generalist practice is both a process and a method. As a process, it involves a more or less orderly sequence of progressive stages in engaging the client, or client system, such as a family, in activities and actions that promote agreed-on goals. As a method, generalist practice entails the creative use of techniques and knowledge that guide intervention activities designed by the social work practitioner. Generalist practice, too, is an art that applies scientific knowledge about human behavior and the skillful use of relationships to enable the client to activate or develop interpersonal and, if necessary, community resources to achieve a more positive balance with his or her environment. Generalist social work practice seeks to improve, restore, maintain, or enhance the client's social functioning. The most significant converging elements in social work practice are that it Number 1 is an art involving a skill that results from experience or training. Number two, applies knowledge about human behavior. Number three, is based on client involvement in developing options to resolve problems. Number four, emphasizes using the client's resources, psychological and physical, as well as those available in the community, to meet client needs. Number 5, is based on an orderly helping process. Number 6, is based on planned change efforts. And number 7, focuses on solutions. Social work generalist practice with individuals and families is grounded in the philosophy and wisdom of early social work pioneers such as Mary Richmond, Gordon Hamilton, Helen Harris Perlman, Florence Hollis, and others, but practice has seen significant changes over the years. With emerging knowledge of human development, ecology, economics, organizational behavior, stress management, social change, and more effective intervention techniques, social work practice with individuals, families, and groups has been enriched and offers a more scientifically buttressed model for intervention. The face-to-face -face relationship between the social worker and the client has maintained its integrity as a fundamental prerequisite for intervention as has the emphasis on process, study, assessment, intervention objectives, intervention, evaluation, and follow-up. Democratic Decision Making and belief in the dignity, worth, and value of the client system continue to undergird the philosophy of social work practice. The client's right to self-determination and confidentiality are fundamental practice values in the helping process. These values and practice principles form the fundamental concepts and practice techniques identified with generalist practice with individuals, families, and groups. And that's it, thanks for watching, for more social work updates. Please watch and like the video. Hit the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel.